Okay, the question that was asked was to implement an AND gate using uh, NOR gates and NAND gates. And in, here's my solution here. Uh, for my voltage regulator over here, and you can see that I've got my LED to indicate that I've got power. Um, and I've set up my ground rail and my VCC rail. Uh, so they're, they're along the bottom and I've been careful to bridge them. Down here I've got my two input switches and you can see that I'm using a pull down configuration. I'm using a small 470 uh, ohm resistors. Uh, and then the outputs here uh, of the two switches are my sort of input A and input B into a two input uh, AND gate. So the reason I did that was so that I could provide the same input to my AND gate, to my, in this case, my NAND gate, and in this case, my NOR gates. So the inputs I'm using here along the top rail that then pass them down. So here's the first circuit, and you can see that uh, I've got input A, if you like, going into the first uh, pin of the, uh, the, the AND gate, the second input going into the second input of my AND gate, and the third pin, in this case pin 3, of my AND gate is going through a resistor to the LED to ground and that should light when my two switches are pressed. Similarly I've got my NAND gate set up and in this case we need to use two gates, one gate to invert and the other gate to act as a NAND. So here I'm using, I've taken input A and B and they're going into the, these two pins here, um, pin eight, 9 and 10 of my, of my NAND gate. And then this is my output pin. Pin, uh, pin 8 is my output pin, and that's going as the input to a NAND gate on this side, which is pin 4 on this side. Pin 5 is tied to ground, so it acts as a con uh, sorry, tied to high, so it acts as a con an inverter. And then I've got my resistor running to my LED to ground. So that should behave, my, if, if I'm right, that should behave exactly the same now as the AND gate. And finally my NOR gate, and I've had to use three gates in this case. Two of my gates are tied to ground, uh, so I've got my two inputs here, and my two gate, my two other inputs tied to ground, so they're tied to ground to this, this column here, which is tied to the ground pin. And then those outputs go into the, are the inputs to another NOR gate on the other side of the, the chip. And then this is my output pin here, which has gone through the resistor to my LED. And if, I've, if I'm right, uh, if you've got a solution like that, well then I, th I think you should find that, well, if we press one button, you can see nothing happens. If we press the other button, nothing happens. And you can see no buttons are pressed, so therefore nothing's happening. So in theory, if I press the two of these together, you can see that all three circuits are equivalent. We have two inputs, we have four states. So you can see that in all cases, they behave exactly the same. So the circuits are equivalent. And we've got an implementation of an AND gate using NOR gates and NAND gates.